Eighty <laughs> percent of people will get back pain in their lifetime. And this leads to over a hundred million work days lost per year. This is Mohammed. This is Adi. This is the Neurosurgeons channel. And this is the only place where you find two neurosurgeons talking to you about everything of the brain and spine. In today's video, we'll be talking about the most common reason people visit a doctor. Back pain is not a disease itself, but actually a constellation of symptoms. In many cases, the cause of back pain itself is not actually known. Why we're talking about back pain specifically? Because 80% of us will get at least one episode of back pain in their lifetime. Also, it limits the activity and it's a major cause of work absence throughout the whole world. This doesn't just affect the patient, but affects their families as well as the economy. In the UK, for example, there was a loss of over 100 million work days per year due to back pain causing disability in young adults. Before we jump into the causes of back pain, let's, let's first look into how our back is formed. So the back is formed by multiple structures, including but not limited to the nerves, the muscles, the bone, and other tissue. They all work together to help us stand, bend, and move. The bones in our back are called vertebrae, and the vertebrae are stacked above each other, and they form the spinal column, where inside the spinal column lies the spinal cord, which gives us the nerves, which help us feel and move. Between vertebrae, there is areas which call the discs, and the discs acts as cushions in between the two vertebrae, and they help us to move, bend forward, backward, and to the right and to the left, and they work as a shock absorbers. These discs are formed of an outer tough tissue and an inner gel-like material. We will be making more videos in the future to talk in more details about the structures in our back. As we said earlier, a lot of causes of back pain remain unknown. Uh, unknown essentially means that the cause cannot be identified in any sort of imaging or test. Given the complexity of the spine, as Mohammed has mentioned, any part of this that is not functioning properly can be a cause for pain. Repeated heavy lifting can put strain on the spine and be a, a cause of pain as this can strain the back muscles and also the ligaments around the vertebra themselves. If you're in poor physical condition, this can lead to prolonged back and muscle spasms and over the long term can also lead to a ruptured disc. As explained before, the discs in the spine act as a cushion between the bones and if any of these discs bulge out of place, they could compress one of the nerves in your back and lead to pain. It is really important to remember, however, that you can have a bulging or even a ruptured disc that does not cause pain itself. Coming next on the list of the causes of back pain is osteoarthritis. Arthritis can affect the lower back and that can lead to a condition called spinal stenosis because of narrowing around the nerves. Lastly, osteoporosis. And the osteoporosis means that your bone are more weak and brittle that makes them easily fractious. This is definitely not a complete list of causes of back pain, but we picked up the most important ones. We will make more videos in the future. We will talk in more detail about each one of them. So to summarize, uh, the back is a complex structure and any part of that structure can be a cause of pain. The specific cause cannot be identified in most cases. Do you need to worry about your back pain or not? Click on our next video to see where back pain may be a sign of something that needs a neurosurgical operation. Thanks for watching our video. Stay tuned for more videos to come from the neurosurgeons. Thank you.